Hello, my name is JP, and I'm the lead coach at Retro Fitness in Catonsville, Maryland. And today, we're going to go through my Rockstar at Home Revamp Workout, brought to you by Retro Fitness and myself, JP, which if you follow me on social media, I'm also known as Johnny Rockstar. Now, before we get into the workout today, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I have been in the industry for over 17 years. I have trained clients whose goals range from everything from muscular strength to, let's say, athletic performance enhancement to corrective exercise and, of course, weight loss. Now, without further ado, we're going to get into today's workout. Hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm going to wait for this music to crank up a little bit. Turn me up, honey. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna get into an athletic position. So with this, our feet are gonna be hip to shoulder width apart with our toes for a little bit, okay? And then from this position, I want you to keep your torso tight, keep your abs contracted, okay? And I want a nice tall position here. Bend at the uh, hips and knees, and I want you to start tapping your feet right now. All right, what this is gonna do is gonna help warm up the lower leg muscles down here, get everything nice and unglued, so it doesn't inhibit us as we go through the workout today. Okay, so just gonna keep on tapping. Here we go. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap, tap, tap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. From here, we're gonna go into some squats. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Good out there. At least I hope you are. <laughs> Good job. Here we go. And four, three, two. We're going to go to a hill raise with the squat. Here we go. Down, up to the toes. Down, up to the toes. Down. Good job. Down, up to the toes. Down, up to the toes. Here we go. Looking good. And four, Three, we're gonna go back to those toe taps I was showing you before, right now, and tap the toes. Tap the toes, tap the toes. Remember, keep that core tight, keep your torso tight, and everything will be right. Four steps to the right. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Good job. Get moving here. Gonna get grooving this evening. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Good job. Three. Two. I'm gonna add a little crossover punch. One, two, three, punch. One, two, three, punch. Punch. Good job. Punch. Punch. Oh yeah. Punch. Turn those hips too. Punch. Good job. Punch. And eight. Seven. Six. Uh-huh. Five. Four. Three. Now we're gonna add jumping jacks on here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one. knees right now okay just to get our blood pumping just a little bit more uh-oh uh-oh here we go five four three two one get up get him up get him up now if this tempo is a little too interesting 
and we can just half tuck. So it looks like this. All right, just like that. And that slowly time, I want to make sure that everything we do today meets you right where you are. So I hope this works for you. All right, eight count. Here we go. Eight. Warmed up, nice and sweaty, depending on your air condition level, sweaty. Now we're gonna go into today's first tricep, okay? Gonna go a lot of pushing, okay? I want you to follow me, and I'll give you everything you need as we go through the exercise, okay? First, we're gonna start in our push up position. Hands are going to be shoulder width apart. Make sure your torso is tight here. We're going to extend one leg at a time. And now here come our push-ups. Three, two, one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 up. Turn up a little bit, honey. Up, up, eight, seven. Six. If that doesn't work, we can go bit me too. Good. 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 We're gonna eat more from here. Why not? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. Shake it out. Shake it out. Now, of course, doing those mini push-ups. I think we've fulfilled all of those push-up challenges that we've seen throughout the interwebs uh, so far this past week. But now, but wait, there's more. We now have to do push-ups with what's called a T-stabilization. I'll show you what we're doing here. All right? First, we're gonna start with that push-up, and then we're gonna rotate our body. And here's what it's gonna look like. Three, two, one. Down, up, rotate. Down, up, rotate the body. Down, up, rotate. Down, up. You can join me now. Here we go. Down, up, rotate. Down, up, rotate. Now, if that doesn't work, we can do a bit knee version and still get to the get to the same results here. Here it looks like. Here we go. Down, up, rotate the body. Down, up, rotate. Down. Rotate. Down. Up. Rotate. Good job. Down. Up. Good. Down. Up. Rotate. Down. Up. Rotate. Last one. Down. Up. Rotate. Good job. Shake it out a little bit. Shake out those muscles. Chest and arms and shoulders. Ooh. Now we're going to go into some athletic burpees. So with this one, we're going to be hips and shoulder width apart, toes forward, tall and pretty spine here. Half leg stance, humble up a little bit, so I'll kick my furniture here. All right, here's how it goes like this. Down, up, in, stand up. Down, up, in, stand up. You got it? Let's see it here. Down, up, in, stand up. Down, up. In, stand up, eight more. Down, in, up, down, up, in, in, up, down, out, in, in, up, down, out, in, four more. Down, out, in, up, down, out, in, up, two more. Out, in, one more. Down, out, in, stand up. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. And now we're gonna move into the abdominal section here, okay? Now first we're gonna start with some planks. So with planks, we wanna make sure that our core is engaged, drawing our belly button up and into our spine here. You're gonna make a 
box with your form. Just like this, right on the ground. All right? And then from here, put your torso tight. You're gonna extend your legs out one at a time. And you're gonna hold that plank position. Just like this. You ready? And this is the fit knee version right here. Three, two, one, and up. Good job, guys. You're gonna breathe and think happy thoughts here. Again, if the straight leg version doesn't work, we can bend the knees. We want to make sure that our hips are aligned with our shoulders here. Okay? That way we're getting the most out of this exercise here. All right. You ready? Eight count. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Woohoo! Feel those abs. All those muscles on your torso. Now we're gonna go into an alternating leg via or a toe touch. I'll show you real quick. You're gonna be lying on the ground, legs are straight, your hands will be over your head like so. And when it's time to go, you're gonna sit up your torso and touch your left hand to your right foot. Up to here, then back down. And then you repeat with the other side, touching your right hand to the left leg. You ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Up, 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 up. Now for those that can't do that variation, all you wanna do is you're gonna sit up and touch your knees like this. Here we go. There, and there. Still lift the shoulder blades off the ground though, just like that. Make sense? Here we go for an eight count. Right here, right now. Up. 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 Good. 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 Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Feel those abs. Feel that burn. Is that what they say now? All right. Now, the next thing we're going to go into is some mountain climbers. So, with that, arms will be straight, just like so. Torso tight and tall. You're going to start with one, both legs extended. Bring one leg in. This is where we start. We're going to switch our feet. Like that. All right. That makes sense to you guys? I hope so. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's go. Here. tricep. We'll start out with squats and then we'll go, go into some lunges and then some jump squats. Okay? Hope you guys, if you need a drink, follow me, get one. Here we go. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes forward, tall and pretty spine here. Hands can be on your hips or they can be in front of your chest. Okay? I'm gonna go through some squats now. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, down, up, down, good, down, down, down. Now we're gonna add in a little knee raise here. So, squat, knee, squat, knee. Good, good. 
Good job. I like it. Make sure you pull those toes up too. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Shake it out. Shake out those leg muscles. All right. We're going to go do a lunge matrix. All right. Follow me. Watch me for a couple times. And then you'll pick it up. So here it is. We're going to stay back, side, forward. Just like that. So again, back, side, forward. Make sense? Here we go. Reverse lunge, lateral lunge, forward lunge. Three, two, one. Other side. Reverse, lateral lunge, forward lunge. Three, two, one. Left side. Reverse. Lateral. Forward lunge. Three, two, one. Other side. Reverse. Lateral. Forward lunge. Now, if you can't, let's say, bring your knee to the ground, do as low as you can with good form. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. At all. Doing fine. Doing fine. Lateral lunge, forward lunge. Couple more complex. Here we go. Reverse, lateral, forward. You're doing good. You're doing good. Reverse, lateral, forward lunge. Three, two, couple more. You can do it. Down, lateral, forward. So far, so good. Down, lateral, Forward. We can do a couple more, right? Here we go. Reverse. Lateral. Forward. Last one. Here we go. Reverse. Lateral. Forward. And that's it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Next thing we're going to is some jump squat. Nice jump squats. Same setup as your squat. You're going to squat down halfway. Here we go, you're gonna go down, jump, 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 jump. Now if you're a person, hope you're doing this. Now if you're a person that can't jump off the ground, maybe cause a little bit of pain in the joints or what have you, then I want you to do that squat with a heel raise that we did in the very beginning. It's like this. No shame, no shame at all. You ready? Here we go. Squat, jump, 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 jump. Good job. Good. Good. Now for those that keep going now, keep going, don't you stop for me. Now for those that want a little bit of a progression, then add a tuck jump to it. Okay? And that's gonna look like this. Squat, tuck, squat, tuck. Ready? We're gonna do eight more counts from here. Just eight more. You ready? Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Looking good out there. Looking good. All right. This last. <coughs> This last set up here, we're gonna go into something for your abs again. Oh no, not my torso yet. Yeah. We're gonna hit it one more time. With some different stuff though. So follow along. The first thing we're gonna do is a side plank or a side pillar. Depends on what book you're reading. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna support your upper body with your stay on balancing on your left forearm. Making sure your hands pointing front and forward in front of you. Okay? From here, you want to make sure your legs are either straight, okay? Or, or you may have to bend the knees a little bit. Okay? That way you're able to support your body weight as you perform the side plank. So here's what they look like. The first one, 
Your right hand is going to be up in the air like so. Tighten up your torso here. You're going to lift up. You're going to hold that position. If that doesn't work, bend the bottom leg. Hook them both knees. Do the same thing. Totally fine. All right? Totally fine. You ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And up. All right. So far, so good. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe and make happy thoughts right here. How many people like planks? That's okay. We need them. We need them to keep all our inside muscles strong here. All the ones that attach to your spine and attach to the hip and attach your hip to your spine. All that stuff. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch sides. All right. That feel good? I hope so. I'm hearing a lot of sighs and hard breathing out there. You ready? Next side in five, four, three, two, one. And up right now. Doing good. Hold it nice and strong here. You're doing okay. Remember your aggressions. If you have to bend the knee, that's fine. Again, no shame. No shame in this at all. So keep it up here, keep it up. Eight count, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, shake it out. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna be that same side plank but we're gonna perform a one-sided knee to elbow, okay? Watch me a couple times, and then once you feel confident and capable, jump right in. No problem here. So first things first. Remember that side plank we did just a couple moments ago? A couple moments ago, we're gonna bend that leg that's on the floor. So if I'm balancing on my left side, I'm gonna bend my left knee. Keep the right leg straight though. Okay. From here, this hand is going to go over your head as you bring your hips off the ground. This is your starting position. And all you got to do is touch your right elbow to your right knee on the beat like this. Down, up, then up, up. Make sense? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Touch. Touch, 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 good job, touch, touch, touch it, touch it, touch it, bring it, uh-huh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job, Woohoo! I'm not sure where I felt that more. My glutes or my abs, or in this case, my obliques. All right. All right, here. Other side now. Where we at? Gotcha. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Touch, touch, touch. Looking good. What's gonna hurt more? I'm not sure. Is it our glute? Is it our torso? I don't know. But we're gonna find out in these next eight touches from here. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo! I guess to answer my own question, ooh, my glutes got the worst of that. I don't know how, but hey, I'm not gonna ask any, I'm not gonna ask any more questions here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, the last thing we're gonna do before we cool things down, 
It's going to be a play off of the mountain climber that we did um, previously. Okay? It's a twisting mountain climber. Alrighty? So here's how it looks. All right, so from here, you're gonna set up in that plank position, your up position of your push-up, just like you did before, okay? And from here, make sure your torso is tall and tight, just like before. You're gonna extend both legs out at the same time. And you're going to, well, really not a mountain climber, but more or less of a knee tuck, all right? So here we go, here's how it looks. You're gonna bring them both at the same time, to the side, then up, side, then up. You ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Side, out, side, out, side, out. Now if that doesn't work, we can just walk in and walk out. So for those, you'll go in, 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 in. Hope that works for you. So we got eight counts left. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Woohoo! And that is everything. We did it all. I thank you all for, for joining me. And now we're gonna go into our cool down. Probably the very, the most important portion of the workout, okay? Uh, fast forward next track. All right. <clears throat> now from here, studies research says that your nervous system stays alive for up to three hours if you do not cool down the body. So we need to make sure that we're cooling things down. So we're restoring homeostasis, our natural state of things here, okay? Making sure our muscles aren't so hyped, we wanna relax them. So don't spaz out on you later in the day, okay? Now, from here, what we're gonna do first, what I like to do is a spiral lunge, okay? So you'll set up in that bit knee push up position here. You're gonna bring your right foot next to your right hand, like this. From here, you're gonna force your hips down to the ground. Now when you do this, you're gonna feel it in your inner thigh of your, uh, of your lead leg, and you're gonna feel it in the quads and hip flexors of your trellis. Alrighty, so hold this for a moment here. And then we're gonna switch sides. That was really good. That was a really good workout. Really awesome. Really awesome, really awesome. Now we're gonna switch sides. Now we're gonna bring our left leg, or left foot, beside our left hand, while keeping our right knee on the floor. Once we've established that position, we're gonna bring our hips down as low as we can so we can feel the stretch. And even if you don't consciously feel the stretch, if you're following my direction, it's going to do exactly what it's designed to do. Help those muscles relax, unglue those joints even further, so you can move better. All right, now from here, we're gonna do what's called a cat cow. Okay? All fours here. You're going to, you're going to make your, your mid-back rise up. You're gonna make a big hump. Okay, pause for a moment. And you're gonna arch your back here. Like a really happy cat that you just pet. Alright? Gonna go up. Then down. Then up, then down. Now from here, the next stretch we're going to do is going to be. It's going to be. Excuse me. 
This next stretch we're gonna do is a figure four stretch. or we'll modify a hurdler or Z stretch here. So with this, you're going to bring your lead leg, rotate it inward so that your foot's on your uh, opposite thigh. Then you're gonna externally rotate the, the trail leg just like this. And from here, you lean forward. Breathe easy, deep breath, inhale and exhale. Don't hold your breath on this. I want you passing out on me. And now we're gonna switch sides here. Really good job, guys. Really good job. I feel your energy. Yep, I feel it. You're sweating. You feel good. You're feeling great. In fact, you feel great. You're feeling great. Good job. And that is it for today. I want to thank you guys. I want you, I want to thank you guys for joining me this evening for my Rockstar at Home revamp workout here, brought to you by Retro Fitness and myself, JP, aka Johnny Rockstar. Of course, for future updates and more workouts provided by us, I want you to go to our social media, media channels on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and that'll lead you in the right direction as to participate in future Facebook Live workouts that we're, that we're, uh, that we're gonna be uh, doing for you guys. Alrighty, again, thank you very much. My name is JP, AKA Johnny Rockstar, and I'm signing off. Have a great, great rest of your evening.